When it comes to dating, trying to figure out if your crush likes you can be a slippery slope. You may be getting mixed signals, but if you are getting any of these signs, then you may want to reconsider your love interest. If this is your first time visiting us, click the red subscribe button and enjoy. These are 10 signs you are most definitely in the friend zone. They ask about dating others. If you have a crush on someone, but they're always talking about dates that they went on with other people, then you are in the friend zone. When someone likes you back, they would talk about dates they want to go on with you. Sometimes they may not even know you're interested, but they see you as a friend and friends talk about their relationships. So if they are always talking about other people, it's a good sign that this person isn't into you romantically. They get drunk and still no signs. When you go out together, is there no sexual tension? It has been said that the truth comes out when someone's intoxicated, so this isn't a reason to get your crush drunk. That being said, it's hard for people to hold back their emotions when they've had a little too much to drink. If you're able to be drunk around one another without any admissions of feelings or drunk flirting, chances are you're friend zoned. No physical contact. When men or women like one another, they like to be flirty and touch each other. If your crush can lay in bed with you or actually get through a whole movie when you're around, you're in the friend zone. Yes, your friend will hug you and may even give you a peck on the cheek, but if it's no more than that, then it is what it is. This doesn't mean you should force anything to happen either. If your crush wanted you, you would know it. Calls you brother or sister. Have you ever been introduced as their brother or sister? This means they love you and you're probably very close, but they don't see you as a sexual partner. Men and women would never call someone they're interested in a brother or sister. This is a sure way to tell you've been friend zoned and you won't be coming out of it anytime soon. The good news is they do care about you a lot, just probably not in the way you were hoping. They try to set you up with someone. There's something about friends wanting all of their friends to date each other. If your crush is constantly trying to hook you up with other people, they aren't interested in you. Of course, they want you to be happy. They just aren't thinking that happiness is with them. It may be scary, but when they suggest someone else you should date, you should just go ahead and ask them out. The worst that could happen is that they find out you have a crush on them. If they say no, then at least you got your feelings out there. They don't make an effort. If you hang out together and they don't put any effort into their appearance or their actions, you're friend zoned. When someone likes someone else and they aren't dating yet, they put an effort in to make sure that they have their best foot forward. So if you're around and they're in sweatpants or their house is a mess, it's because they're comfortable with you. Yes, being comfortable with someone is great, but if they are so comfortable that they turn into slobs when you're around, then they probably don't care if you find them attractive or not. You do everything for them. If you find yourself doing their laundry, taking them to work, or picking them up after a drunken night out, you might be friend zoned. You're basically doing everything a girlfriend or boyfriend would do without the commitment. Not only are you not getting the commitment, but you aren't even getting friends with benefits. Your crush may think you're just the best friend they've ever had, but that is all you will be in their eyes if you keep it up. Yes, you should be a good friend, but you shouldn't become someone's slave because you want him or her to like you. They will change in front of you. If you are a guy and a girl changes their clothes in front of you in a very non-sexy way, you are in the friend zone. This is basically her way of saying there is nothing about you she equates to having sex. Women are usually very critical of their bodies and won't change in front of just anyone, especially a new crush. If this does happen, she might think you're not interested in her, or she might think you're gay. Either way, you're definitely in the friend zone. Calls you by your last name. Now, if you're a girl who has a crush on a guy and they only address you by your last name, you're in the friend zone. When guys are with their buddies, they call other guys by their last names. So when they do it to girls, it means they see you as the equivalent of their male friends. Yes, it will be awesome to be one of the guys, but that's all you'll be in his eyes. If you want him to stop addressing you by your last name, you should tell him how you feel. You may be surprised to know he had no idea you had a crush on him. Friends tag along. If every time you invite your crush out and they bring their friends with them, you're in the friend zone. If someone likes another person, they will want to have some quality alone time with them. The same is true for the opposite. When someone doesn't like someone, they don't want any alone time with them in order to keep boundaries. Many times, girls will know if a guy likes them and won't want to hurt their feelings by turning them down, so they invite friends to go with them. So if you find yourself always being a third wheel, chances are because your crush isn't romantically interested. Has your crush given you any signs that you are definitely in the friend zone? React in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Taco.